Hey guys, Carter here from Team Lacuna. Today I am bringing you the tutorial of a skew planar wheel antenna. Um, you can also apply this uh, building to a clover leaf. The only difference is uh, this has three lobes instead of four. But like I said, um, all these building techniques will be easily applied to this. A um, few things. Uh, this is right hand circular polarized, so the way to tell that is um, the, the leaves are, or the lobes are pointing this way. Um, when you turn it like this, if you turn it right hand uh, clockwise like this, you can see the lobes will be digging into me like this angled up like that. So this right hand, if you want to make it left hand, all you have to do is angle the lobes the other way. Um, SMA connectors, you can buy them off of eBay. Wire, you can get pretty much anywhere. I got it at a local hardware store. Um, other than that, pretty simple. If you follow the steps, uh, you should be good to go. Um, again, that's pretty much it. Please like, subscribe, comment, share. Otherwise, let's get started with the tutorial. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, um, I'm just gonna give you a few quick tips before we get into the build and uh, all that. So as you can see, here is the uh, skew planer that we're gonna be building um, compared to this, which is the clover leaf um, that I recently built also. Basically, uh, what happens with this is there is going to be four lobes, as you can see. Um, the geometry of this is 180 degrees straight line across, and then 90 degrees from that is straight line across, so it's equal equilateral square. Um, each of these lobes is, uh, as you can see, like that, that angle right there, that's going to be 45 degree angle um, on all of them. And then the angle between this and this is going to be a 105 degree angle. Um, I'll post some links in the description with some videos explaining all that and uh, just some other helpful videos and websites and stuff that I got information from. Um, also, here's the clover leaf, which is the transmitting antenna. With this, the angles are 120 degrees apart. Um, but the uh, it's still 45 degree angles this way, still 105 degree angles that way. So they're really not too much different besides one has four, one has three. That's pretty much it. Um, let me know in the description or I guess in the comment section if there's anything I missed. Otherwise, I hope this tutorial will help and enjoy. Okay. So before we get started with the actual build of the antenna, we're just going to quickly go over all the materials and tools you'll need to complete the build. So first, you're going to want a ruler. Um, it doesn't have to be uh, metric, but preferably it would be. Just because most of the calculations and lengths you'll find on the internet uh, for these antenna builds will be in millimeters. Secondly, you'll want something like a protractor. Um, to measure angles with. You want something like a sharpie or permanent marker to uh, mark your measured wires. You'll need a knife, something like this, or an X-Acto knife, anything that's small and will be able to cut wire or strip it. Um, you'll want something like this, some pliers to bend it and cut it. This does both. Um, if you don't have combined like this, then you want something separate to cut it with. Um, optionally, you could have a file. I know a lot of people like to file down their wires. Um, I'll explain that later. So if you want to, you can have a file. If not, these guys will do fine. Later on, you'll need a soldering iron and, of course, some solder to go with it to solder the antenna up. Um, and last but not least, the materials I'll need will be uh, this 20 gauge wire. It's uh, 0.81 millimeters. 
It doesn't have to be the size. It can kind of be any size you want or any gauge you want um, as long as it's easily bendable. I just picked this up because that's what most people like to use and it's worked out for me. The other thing uh, material wise we'll need to build the antenna is this SMA connector. Um, this will basically be turned into the uh, base of the antenna and connect to your receiver. So that's all you should need and from there we will go online and take a look at the websites you'll need to calculate all the dimensions of your antenna. Okay, so once you're at your computer, basically you're going to uh, open a web browser and open up a new tab and let's see, we'll type in flight test cloverleaf build. Um, you can use David's website. The only thing I'd caution you about that is uh, the last time I checked the calculators for the frequency length, um, antenna length, weren't working. So this is why I'm using this website. Uh, it's actually the same article written by him, uh, by David. So it's the same exact thing, just on a different website. By the way, this is a great, uh, great article. Um, you might want to check it out. It has a ton of information and theories behind why everything works and how it works and different stuff. So uh, feel free to check that out if you want to learn some more about the antenna. Um, for our purposes, though, we just need two calculators. Um, we need this one, and we need the one down below. Um, and this is also the time to pick your frequency, um, if you haven't already. Obviously, you have your band, um, your frequency band, 900, uh, 1200, 2.4, 5.8 gigahertz. But now is the time you need to pick, pick the exact frequency that you're using if you haven't already. In my case, I'm doing 2450. So we'll type that in. Um, and down here, we'll get that length in millimeters, like I have said before. Um, so that's the length you're going to cut your wire. So you'll uh, want to write that down on a piece of paper or something. In my case, I figured it would be easier to uh, just take a picture of it with my phone. So that's what I did. Um, once you have that, then you'll come down here, enter the frequency again, 2450, and then you'll get the uh, you'll get that length um, to see you'll that'll be the length of the wire from here to here, and then the bend will be there. So you'll want to write that number down and the number up above down, like I said. And other than that, that's pretty much it for the. Uh, wire lengths and all. So now that you have those two numbers you can close everything down again and uh, get back to your bench to continue to build. Alright, we are back at the bench and ready to start cutting wires. So to do this we'll need our wire of course, um, our ruler, a pen to mark, and I guess not that, we'll need this to cut. Um, also, you'll want to get out your phone and open up this, okay? So we have our frequencies here, the pictures we took. Or, of course, if you wrote it down on a piece of paper, you want to get that out. Um, so we can see this is a very exact number. Um, you want to get as close to that as you can, but, of course, you're not going to be able to get exactly that. So we'll just round it to 125. Point three and a bit. So one two five point three millimeters. We will uh, see where that is. So hundred and twenty five point three. Okay. So now that we have found that on our ruler, we'll get the wire and uh, you don't have to straighten it out perfectly, but it's nice if the wire is at least kind of straight. So you don't have to be manipulating it too much when you're trying to measure it. And then we'll line it up. Um, don't try to do exactly the length. Do a little bit past um, and mark it there. This way, if you end up cutting a little shorter than you intended, you'll still have a little bit of wiggle room to go off of. 
um, so you don't have to waste wire and recut it. Okay, so now that we have that wire cut like that, we can just straighten it out a tiny bit more. Again, doesn't have to be perfect, but it's just nice when it's a little bit straight. And then once you have that, then you'll uh, line it up again, and you'll see it's still a little bit long. And so you'll just start cutting down a tiny bit at a time. Um, this is where the file comes in that I mentioned before. If you want to file it down and try to get it super exact, you can. I've found that just snipping it off a little bit of at a time with uh, pliers works fine. Um, it's worked well for me. But if you're really looking to get a super exact antenna or just smoother ends, um, you might want to use a file. So get out the file if you want to, otherwise just keep snipping it down a millimeter at a time or half a millimeter at a time or something like that um, until you get it exact. Okay, so the first one is done. Um, it's not completely perfect because that's kind of impossible, but it's uh, super close to being the exact length. So there we go, our first wire is done. Um, now if you're doing the cloverleaf, you'll need to do two more of these. In my case, we're building the uh, skew planer wheel, so we'll do three more of these, so we'll have four of them in the end. Um, and so we'll do that, and once we finish that, then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so now you can see we have all our four wires that we've uh, cut, and um, now they're all the same length, and they're also pretty much all the way straightened out. Um, you don't have to straighten them out like that, but it makes it a lot easier um, when you're trying to bend them and make them into the uh, lobes that they'll end up as. Um, anyway, we'll put a few of these aside and leave one here, and then we'll get out our phone again to look at, let's see, there we go, to look at the measure of the bend. So 31.3. 31.3, 31 okay, that's good enough. So now, just like the last step, we will um, measure this out, grab our sharpie, 31.3, so that's right about there. Of course, it's going to be a little bit difficult to get it exact, just like the last step, but you can get it pretty darn close, so just do your best and it should turn out fine. So we'll mark that and we'll mark this. And uh, then we'll grab our pliers and we will make a bend. So just if your mark is exactly here, don't grab at the mark. Just grab like a tiny bit to the other side. That way the bend will be on the mark instead of being slightly over the mark. So you'll make a bend and uh, make sure it's as close to 90 degrees as you can. And then on the other side, we will grab it here and make a bend there. Again, 90 degrees. Here we go. They're all lined up like that. Now, once you've done that nice and neat, we can move on to bending. Uh, the bend is going to be angled at 105 degrees, which... Um, you'll want this for. Um, I found the easiest way to do this is to start like this, grab by both ends and kind of just start bending like that, trying to keep it a nice smooth bend along the entire uh, wire. Um, and just slowly bend in like that. Once you've done that you can see there's a tiny bit of uh, 
sharp, there's a few sharp bends in there. So you can just kind of manipulate it uh, to get the desired effect um, until you have something that looks something like that. Then what you're going to want to do is grab these two wires, put them together, and then just kind of bend, bend it until you get a nice curve and these wires are almost touching like so. Um, and then after that, once you've got the rough shape, then you can, of course, fine tune it um, as much as you want. But, to be honest, that's pretty much good right there. You can just tweak it a tiny bit. Um, and keep in mind, you're going to have to do this for all of the lobes, in my case, four. So, um, just repeat that process as many times as you need to for the amount of lobes you're going to have. And then we'll start soldering after that. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we have this. We are going to take our knife and uh, gently uh, touch the uh, outer cable housing and just twist this wire like this. Um, and so that eventually this will uh, cut through and we can expose the inner cable and shielding. Then what you do is you can see you have this exposed wire here. So you can uh, you peel this back until it's uh, nice and frayed out like that. And then once that's like that, have kind of like a little flower pattern. You can take a uh, screwdriver or some little sharp thing and kind of try to spread the wires so they're not all tangled up. Now what we're going to do is take these wires and make them into four equal parts. Um, once you've done that, you're going to just grab them and twist them up. Then what we do is uh, we can kind of fold these back so they're out of the way. And then you're going to expose this top part. And we'll fold all these wires out of the way. So you're going to do the same thing just with this top to expose the center wire. And you can... Hopefully, I guess that's not enough. You just... It's such a skinny wire that you don't want to cut the wire itself. So that's why I'm just being careful and going slowly a little bit at a time. There we go though. Easy enough. Um, so that's exposed and now we can fold these back up. Like so. Um, and once we've done that, we're pretty much ready to solder the antenna up. So uh, we have this guy here, we have all four lobes here, um, and one thing I forgot to mention earlier is uh, we need a jig. So I have this guy here that I just made out of foam board, and basically our lobes will sit up here as we solder them, and this guy, uh, the SMA connector, will be down in here. Um, if we can just push that in like that, then this will be settled down here and uh, ready to be soldered. So we'll set that all up, um, turn on the soldering iron, and uh, start going with the soldering. All right, so we have everything set up, and uh, we're ready to solder. So we'll tin the soldering iron just a tiny bit, 
and then basically what we're going to do here is we're going to find the lobe that's best fit to the wire which in this case is this one so we'll come in here and get some solder on there here we go alright so now that that's done that's the main step because basically once you've done that everything is uh, much more secure and you can move things around without uh, messing things up so once we've done that then we can adjust and move on to the next one okay perfect so now what we'll do is we will just grab these out and remove this from our jig if we can do that here and uh, now we have some pretty good joints uh, some nice solder joints so for now we'll leave this um, now you can basically tilt these so they're um, at a 45 degree angle that's the optimum angle for this antenna um, they don't have to be perfect now but as long as they're roughly 45 degrees you should be good um, so now what we're doing is we are adjusting the top so that everything will be aligned to solder to the top set that there and come in for the top so we're just gonna come in here add some solder there and flow solder all over the top like that and get a nice blob up there that connects all the lobes um, and so basically once we've done that everything is really secure now we have a nice clean solder joint up top um, and now is the time if you're unsatisfactory with the bottom solder joints you can come back and just kind of retouch those you can come back to the bottom and just uh, if you need a little solder you can get a little solder And once you've done that, it's pretty much finished. Uh, you can look down on top and see if everything's adjusted. Um, you can tweak things now because everything is soldered up. Um, there we go. But pretty much you have a completed antenna and if you've done everything correctly, it should be nice and straight and nice and lined up and basically all it needs now is just a tiny bit of tweaking um, and you should be ready to go all right that's the end of that video I know it was long so thanks for sticking with me that whole time but um, if you end up following this video you should end up with a uh, quite a nice clover leaf like that or a uh, skew planer wheel or, if you do a different frequency, could end up being like this. Obviously different sizes, but um, either way, it works great. I will put information in the description, like I said before, um, with links to different uh, tutorials and articles about this. Um, IB Crazy, Flight Test, David Vinstall, a bunch of different stuff. Just so if you uh, want even more uh, information and stuff about the antenna you can get that um, otherwise thanks so much for watching again if you want to like subscribe share all that would really help me so hope that helped and see you next time bye